Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another big catastrophe. Down 400 points on the Dow. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Lawrence. Ken, great to see you. Good to see you, Rich, everybody. All the cyber traders, listen, I hate to be right, but listen, I told you this a long time ago, and I just put in a chat. I just had a meeting with, with Josh. We were talking about having a little bit of a game plan this morning about you traders. You know, before it gets worse, it's getting even uglier. Um, listen, I'm just telling you right now, guys, this is what we train for, okay? This is reminding me of 2008 all over again, the financial crisis. It's a national, actually, I'm sorry, it's not a national. It's a global, global news. It's all over the place. There is pandemonia everywhere, hysteria everywhere, and it's making all these stocks just take off. You know what I mean? I know it's a horrible thing that's happening, um, but I'm telling you a couple of things. I'm predicting it, and I'm telling you right now, market's down almost, close to almost 5,000 points from the highs. Some of you wished you could have got the stocks earlier. There will be a buy. There will be a buy, and all this, you know, corona stocks taking off are going to crash big time. There's going to be a big short squeeze coming in. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're all over the place right now, but enjoy the wave right now, and do not, once again, do not overextend yourself on trying to think you're like oh this is the next biggest thing you know i'm going to make i'm going to, I'm going to pay for my new brand new hundred thousand dollar kitchen here listen if if you're in any of these stocks that we traded and it went up as big as they did you got lucky you got lucky then remember what we've taught take the money and run okay you should have learned that with um what was the other stock we have nnvc how it did it but this is um this is something that's going to pass it's really going to pass uh, i think they're making a lot you know, I know it's something serious. It's worse. I, I, I've been up since midnight last night doing my homework for you guys. And you know, when we're in the cyber group room, I'm always, and, and I'm working with Josh and we're talking back and forth, what to say, what not to say, how to look at it. Do this for 25 years. I've been through the, uh, the IPO crash, um, the, you know, the dot coms back in 2000, the financial crisis. We've seen this, you know, uh, you know the, the blockchain, all the, this is this is what you train for. So, guys, you should be killing it at, uh, on certain stocks. Just remember, though, some of them are like chaos. OK, just don't get too cocky and do not get too greedy on some of them. You get in, you get out, you get in, you get out. But my phone was blowing up yesterday, blowing up. I, I had I had people call me from. I don't even want to tell you where they're calling me from. I mean, in a way, I'm like, I'm talking about some news stations were calling me up. And they, you know, and they're like, Fausto, could you come in? I'm like, I'm not, I can't go anywhere. Are you kidding me? You know what it's going to cost me to leave my computer to come and talk on TV with you? Are you out of your mind? I'm like, you know, we'll, we'll talk later. You know what I mean? I'm not going to come there now. I got no time for that. Seriously, you know, anyone that's on TV is obviously not trading. Okay. Right now, you got me in a bad time. All right. So anyway, this is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of stuff going on. And then also, people are calling me up. You know, tell me, Faust, is it time to buy? Do I sell it? And like, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, and you're going to hear it here first. This is why you're a day trader. We're going to know when it's going to hit the bottom is going to hit. Okay. We've seen it. What you're seeing, it goes on with every single stock that we trade, that we were trained what to do. And we'll find the bottom and we'll know when the bottom is. So guys, I hope you got a lot of cash laying around because this is going to be your opportunity to jump in. The economy is doing great in the U.S., Everybody's got a job. Everybody's doing great. This is all has to do with the coronavirus. Once this thing gets smoke is cleared, it's going to be a biggest opportunity for you guys to make a lot of money. Uh, tell them to join the Cyber Trading University group, Mike. Michael, you know what? Unfortunately, there's a lot of ignorant people out there. And you know what? They're like, ah, let me just come in the trading room or just tell me over the phone. And they'd rather sit there on and, and watch every financial station. But, you know, at the end of the day, I, I tell everybody this. you got to hang out with traders, okay, and successful ones. And, you know, it's not just sitting and watching people and learning. You got to be, you know, listen, <laughs> this is the Super Bowl, okay? The reason how you got to the Super Bowl is because you're great at what you do. And you know what? Going out there and just watching and listening to this room and that guy and this one, and that, at the end of the day, you're going to miss the whole wave. And you know what? Unfortunately, that's why you guys paid to be here. That's why you guys went out there and you spent those hours in classroom. You did those coaching classes. You, 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 you know, we took the time to sit there when you didn't want to be there because of what we do. So I'm not going to be here on a rant. You know, I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. You know, I got, I got, I got a couple of swing trades right now. I, 
I, you know, I got stuck in that. Uh, I bought that uh, that COCP overnight. I'm doing pretty well on that one. Bought you know several thousand shares of that one. Uh, I got a couple of uh, got a couple of shorts going on right now and some big brand name stocks. Unfortunately, I'm really ticked off at myself that the one I got did not go up 70 percent of 70 dollars. That's the only. This is the only thing that pisses me off more than anything out of all the stocks. Look at look at this watch list. 174 uh, percent. 146%, 113%. Look at the list is on and on and on. It is just unheard of. It's just awesome. All right, anyway, let's go. My list is bigger than it was yesterday. This is even ridiculous. Dude, guys, get ready. <laughs> I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this in the list. Let's go through. I, I can't even talk about yesterday because everything that moved yesterday is moving again today. So let's look at some of we got DYN uh, DYNT. Okay, how's that working out for us? Look at that move right there. Dollar fifty. Thing went to five dollars already. Up two hundred and forty uh two hundred and twenty percent. Now let me just make a point right here. This is the reason why here at Cyber University, you know, we, we have multiple ex uh, platforms, training platforms. People always ask me, why do you use this one? Why do you have eSignal? Why do you have TradeStation? Why do you have or Orbis? Why do you have Bookman? Why do you have uh, Benzinga? Because you know what? Some of these systems don't really capture all the big winners. But here's another big winner. It's not even on the on the trade station. That's why I had to go find someone else. Two hundred forty-one percent. Dollar fifty. It started seven o'clock this morning. Look where it is. It hit a high as five. Okay, another big winner. Let's go down that list. A H P I. Now you know what? Everyone always asks me this question. They're like, how do you know how much hires are going to go? Um, when's it going to? You know, uh, had, who's buying it? Remember one thing. What makes Cybertrain University so popular? And what makes us so unique more than anyone in the industry is because we teach you how to trade on level three and level four. And it's so incredible that there's so many people out there. That's why next week, by the way, I'm going to be on NASDAQ again. I can't give up that gig. You know, that, you know, but the thing is, that is what makes us more unique than anyone else. So go out there, slap all the indicators you want, all the Fibonacci's you want. Let me know how that works out for you. And, uh, you know, and then we'll come, you'll end up coming back and realizing it all starts here. Uh, here's another big winner. I mean, look at this. A ALT. I was talking to Josh about this earlier. He's like, holy crap. Remember ALT? Look at this one. $2 to $5, you know? They're all moving, guys. They're all moving. I know you, a lot of you guys, you, a lot of you traders trade this morning pretty much early. TBIB. Another one right up here. Look at this one. Uh, we're from a buck 40 up to 220. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the system can't even update fast enough. Uh, what else we got? TRIL trial. That one we went from fifty cents to four dollars. Look at that. She's up again right now. She's up. She's up back to back up to five. Another one that's moving. Lake. You know this is a funny story. I was talking to Josh just early about Lake. He says, you know, when I came to Cybertrain University five years ago, this is what sold me. He goes, I never. I was here my second day on the job, and uh, when I when I saw you trade Lake. You know, it's like that was unheard of. This was the, um, I think we said this is the Ebola uh, stock. This one ran from like ran from like three dollars to forty five dollars in like three days. Anyway, Lake, another one. Look at this thing. It was up at thirty six dollars in pre market. I mean, it's back and down right now. But listen, it closed at nineteen for crying out loud. That one moving. What else we got? We got VXRT. That one you could see it dollar to three dollars. That one hit to three ninety. That one's all over the place. What else? I can't even write these down fast enough. OPGN. It's another one we've been trading. Another little cheapie right there. Was as high as four dollars. It closed at two twenty yesterday. That's another one we're gonna watch. Where am I up to? I got. I'm only halfway there for crying out loud. IBIO. Another one right there. Came. The system came update fast enough. IBIO. There's another one right there. Um, stock closed at 80 cents. It was up to 220. APT, can't forget about APT. Stocks at 41. Look at this. This is a stock probably. This is probably the one of the real ones out of them all. 41 dollars, guys. This look at this thing. It gapped up huge from yesterday. I can't. I can't even do the. Yeah, three days. Look at that. So look. Look at this thing. After hours, it closed at 25. It hit 45. Uh, AIM. Another one, up to 250, closed at what, 170 yesterday? What was that AIM? I'm almost there. And <laughs> NBC, can't remember, forget about that one. That was one of the ones that started it up, started the whole thing. Uh, 
four dollars to eighteen. It backed right off. It's at ten. That was moving pretty nicely. Uh, now, what else we got? Uh, CORV is the other one, right? So this is the one that you guys were trading earlier this morning. Another cheap one. Look at this one. Beautiful Fausto flags everywhere, everywhere. Be gorgeous. Gapped up. You know what? The stock you could see it took a big hit. You know what? Another one right there. So anyway, um, now let's talk about let's talk about what everyone else is really concerned about. Listen, look at nobody's talking about earnings by the way. By the way, right? Nobody's everybody's about the coronavirus. Look at big. Uh, look at big. Big is getting crushed. Big lots down to fifteen dollars. You know what? <laughs> it's just this stock was thirty dollars not too long ago. It looks like it just broke a, a broke a yearly low. Uh, well, Wayfair. Holy crap! Did you guys check Wayfair lately? Here's a hundred and thirty dollars stock. Great company. Unbelievable. Down to fifty seven dollars. Okay. Everything is just getting crushed right there. Um, listen, I'm keeping my eye on this. This is what this is our game plan, right? So a lot of you guys, this is how you become a very good day trader. And this is how people blow up their accounts. All right. They're like, oh, maybe it's the opportunity now if they need to buy. Um, maybe it's the opportunity. For, oh, my God, it's 500 points now. So this is our opportunity uh, to maybe I could buy Apple. Oh, I could buy Apple. I could buy Apple now. Maybe it means, means to buy the buy. $270, go go get the hell out of here, all right? You know what? Not that it's a bad company. We all know it's the greatest company out there, but why would I risk $270? I'd rather go out there and trade a stock like, you know, um, that, that like maybe big lots. So like, you know what? This is not, like, Apple's not down 50%. If Apple was at right now 50% at 320, that means Apple would be at 150. You know what? Maybe I would be interested at that, but even at $150, you know what? Their stock's down 50%. You know, like, like for example, yesterday, thank God I got out of it, but um, the the uh, Norwegian uh, Norwegian uh, cruise lines, uh, those things are getting crushed, crushed. They're down half in, in value. Uh, the, all those companies that you like, damn, I can't believe the stocks are that, that high. All these stocks are, are the ones you want to keep an eye on. Now, another big thing you want to trickle down, I want to kind of give you a little trickle down after this. Uh, I've been affected by Hurricane Sandy. We all know about Hurricane Sandy. You probably don't realize it, you know, for some of you all around the country and around the world. But, like, I, people are like, well, how do you profit from Hurricane Sandy? Well, remember, Hurricane Sandy, uh, Home Depot crushed it. You know, the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, generator companies crushed it. Now, listen, what's crushing it right now? Listen, you think it's just the corona stocks? Listen, now, now they're telling on TV. you got to listen to what they're talking about on TV. Oh, now they're saying, uh, what's the big thing? Uh, 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 Clorox wipes. You know, everybody's buying Clorox wipes. Everybody's got this sanitizers. That is going to be the new norm. Now things are going to trickle down into, you know, into items. And those companies, you think it's just the masks, 3M? M is not even doing anything. Is it M or MMM? I think, is it MM? No, it's not. It's MMM, right? I think it's the 3M, yeah. So M that makes the masks. It's not even doing anything. It's not even doing anything. This is the company that makes the masks that you need, the surgical masks. But um, but the thing is this. It's going to trickle down to other stocks. So let's not worry about too much about the so these corona stocks, uh, uh, pharmaceuticals. There's going to be other things that are going to be moving also. So remember, so think about this for a second. You see something, you say something. All right? This is why we're part of Cybertrain University. We are a team. This is not the Fausto show. I'm not here to tell you. I'm not here to brag. I'm not here to pound my chest how great I am. I'm not going to put out YouTube videos and say, hey, I made $20,000 today because that does not make you money, guys. Remember that. What makes us money is that how we were trained. You tell the points that you're up. You don't brag how much money you make because we want to discourage all the, you know, uh, all the new traders out there. You're just happy to be here and you should be fortunate. Right? I mean, it's not, and, that's, and that's what we're looking for. So let's, be, let's go out there and win as a team. And let's go out there and enjoy the ride, all right, guys? Because it looks like we're gonna be like we're gonna be like this for a while. And oh, by the way, one last thing: what makes it even worse? It's Friday. It's Friday. Nobody wants to hold the stock over the weekend, okay? Because this can get a lot worse. And I can see this being one of the a, a huge, huge move going into the uh, going into the close. So don't you go anywhere. Just be just be ready to rock and roll, all right, guys? Let's have some fun. Let's make some money. Great talking to you. So excited about this morning's meeting. And uh, we'll pick up, we're going to start commentating in about 15 minutes. 
and then we'll, I'm looking forward to the 2:30 meeting this afternoon. How we're gonna how we're gonna lead off. And then uh, before we go, everybody, one last thing. Um, tomorrow I am going to be doing an exclusive event with with uh, Steve Bigelow on candlesticks. So if you haven't registered, register already. We'll send another bulk email on it. Um, I always look. I love going on. I'm always invited to do these these uh, these uh, multi speaking events. Uh, it's just more convenient, especially doing it on a Saturday, so I have to take off work. But um, but it's going to be a really big event tomorrow. So if you haven't done it, I think this is the best time for you guys to go to these multi speaker events because you get to hear what the experts are all saying and how they're trading. If it's a, how an op options trader is thinking or whatever else. Remember, personally, some of the greatest traders are really doing this. A lot of them don't need to be on TV all the time because, listen, for me to go out and get on TV and do that, I'm going to lose a half a day, a full day of work. You know what? To go out there 45 minutes uh, and being on the weekend, especially more or less, it's going to be a lot more fun. So don't, uh, don't forget to be there. All right, guys? So good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll be, we're going to start trading a little bit if you haven't done it already. Good luck, everyone.